Did you know that the industry standard color grading software is actually free to download? That's right, you can actually download DaVinci Resolve for free from Blackmagic's website. DaVinci Resolve has had a free version for a long time and it's actually one of the main reasons why I'm a professional colorist today. Years ago, I was experimenting with color grading my own videos and I decided to download the free version of DaVinci Resolve to kind of use a little bit better tools and mess around even more. And that's actually how I fell in love with color grading and pursued it as a career. So today in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through how to download the free version of DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic's website and a few tips on how to get started using the program. All right, so whether you're on Mac or PC, the process is the same. All you have to do is go to blackmagicdesign.com slash DaVinci Resolve. And that's gonna load up the DaVinci Resolve page. Feel free to look around. You can see all the features that are included. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a little download button. You wanna click the download button. Now, this is where you wanna make sure you select the right one because there actually is a paid version of DaVinci Resolve Studio, which honestly, there's not a major difference to a beginner user between the free and the studio version. You're gonna have all the same editing features, most of the same color features. You're gonna be able to export in 4K. Um, a lot of the features in the studio version um, are collaborative tools or more advanced color grading plugins and tools and the ability to export in any resolution that you might need. But for most users, the free version of DaVinci Resolve 16 is actually going to be more than enough. And whether you're on Mac or Windows or Linux, you click one of those. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna click Mac OS X. Now this page kind of freaks some people out. Um, you do have to register your details, which I think is a pretty fair trade-off for them to have your information. All right, so once you have all that information filled out, all you have to click is register and download. We have the download window pop up and you wanna just save it to your downloads folder and hit save and wait for it to download. Now, once it's finished downloading, you just wanna open the disk image and it'll open up a window that has a little button that says install Resolve 16.2.7 or whatever version you're using. Um, if there is a newer version of DaVinci Resolve after this video, it's probably the same process. So it's gonna open an installer window and you would just wanna go through this this is seriously my favorite feature of the Apple Watch. And the installation was successful, so I'm gonna close that window. And you have now successfully downloaded and installed the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So you wanna find the program in your applications folder. And since I actually already have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, it may be a little bit different looking for you but you basically just wanna open DaVinci Resolve. So when you first open the program, it's gonna open a window called the Project Database Window. Now DaVinci Resolve handles projects a little bit differently than you may be used to. It keeps all of the projects in one database on your disk. So instead of saving a new project to a specific location, all of your projects and all of that data is in one specific location. Now, this may be a little bit confusing to get used to at first, but over time, it actually becomes very convenient because you don't have to worry about creating a new folder and keeping your folder structure organized. It does it all for you. So I have a lot of projects in here already, but to create a new project, you can just hit new project on the bottom or you can right click and hit new project. I'll create a new project and I'm just gonna call it DaVinci Resolve. Once you create the new project, it'll open that project up and you'll be ready to go. If you are used to using Final Cut or Premiere Pro, you can actually go up to DaVinci Resolve and you can go to Keyboard Customization and you can actually customize the keyboard to match the keyboard from Adobe Premiere Pro, Media Composer, Final Cut, or whatever, or you can create your own specific shortcuts. 
So if you are a little bit confused and you want to feel a little bit familiarity, that's a good way to get going a little bit faster if you're used to your own keyboard shortcuts. Um, to import media, you can either drag and drop from the finder or you can go to the media tab, find your hard drive and drag it into the media pool to import your clips and audio. And then if you wanna start editing, you can go to the edit page and start editing. Um, once you're done with that, Fusion is VFX, kind of like After Effects. Color is the color grading tools. Fairlight is audio and Deliver is the export settings. So yeah, that's a really quick way to download DaVinci Resolve, get it started and running on your system. And like I said, it's an incredible software that I really hope you enjoy using. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope these tips help you get started using, editing, color grading, and delivering videos using DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of any new videos and tutorials I post. And I will see you guys in the next one.